Something is amiss in our comprehension of the cosmos. Cosmology is approaching a critical juncture, grappling with one of its most fundamental issues. How quickly is the universe expanding? For over ten years, two different measurement methods have been at odds. Observations of the present-day universe typically show that the rate of expansion, known as the Hubble constant, is about 9% faster than what is predicted based on data from the early universe. Researchers had hoped that the James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced telescope ever created, would help resolve this issue definitively. However, consensus has yet to emerge as the telescope's remarkable new observations have further solidified the discrepancy, posing a potential challenge to the established cosmological model. Now, the need for new physics to either modify or entirely replace the 40-year-old theory is under serious debate. A thrilling and intriguing possibility is that we are overlooking some aspect of the universe. Join us as we delve into how the new ultra-deep images from James Webb have just confirmed that there is something seriously flawed in our understanding of the universe. Our universe began with an explosion, the Big Bang. Energy, mass, and space appeared almost instantaneously. From there, the young cosmos formed a growing plasma mixture of matter and antimatter particles that materialized and annihilated one another as they collided. Left unchecked, the matter and antimatter in this plasma would have destroyed each other entirely. However, scientists believe an unknown imbalance allowed more matter to form than antimatter, thus saving the universe from immediate annihilation. Gravity then compressed this plasma, eating the matter to such an extent that sound waves, known as baryon acoustic oscillations, traveled through the medium at slightly more than half the speed of light. At the same time, the dense energy content of the early universe stretched space-time, pushing a small portion of matter safely away from the heat as the universe expanded like a balloon. The standard narrative suggests that ordinary matter, which interacts with light, began to clump around invisible dark matter, forming the first galaxies connected by a vast cosmic web. As the universe's contents began to spread, its energy density, and by extension, its rate of expansion diminished. Yet, around five billion years ago, galaxies began receding faster, driven by the mysterious force known as dark energy. The most straightforward and widely accepted explanation for dark energy is that it functions as a cosmological constant, a uniform force that remains constant across both space and time, woven into the fabric of expanding space-time. Named Lambda by Einstein in his theory of general relativity, dark energy density stays the same as the universe grows, while the density of ordinary matter drops. Eventually, dark energy became the dominant contributor to the universe's expansion. When combined with ordinary matter and dark matter, the energy densities of each set an upper limit on the universe's expansion speed. These elements form the core of the lambda cold dark matter, lambda CDM, model, which describes the evolution of the universe and predicts its eventual fate, a heat death known as a big freeze. Many of this model's predictions have been proven highly accurate. However, this is where the trouble begins. Despite extensive research, astronomers are still clueless about the true nature of dark matter and dark energy. As Afrolov, an astronomy professor at University College London involved in dark energy galaxy surveys, states, most scientists agree that the universe's current makeup is about 5% ordinary atomic matter, 25% cold dark matter, and 70% dark energy. The embarrassing reality is that we still don't understand the latter two. An even greater challenge to the Lambda CDM model, however, is the growing issue known as the Hubble tension. Depending on the method used, measurements of the universe's expansion rate yield conflicting results. The disparity is so significant that it has become a pressing problem in cosmology. Measurements made from observing the early universe suggest it is expanding far faster than predicted by the Lambda CDM model. These methods have undergone extensive testing and validation through numerous observations. As Nobel Prize winning astrophysicist Adam Rees, who led the team responsible for the latest James Webb measurement, put it, the only explanation for the discrepancy between the two approaches is that our current model 
is likely missing something. Measuring the universe's expansion involves more than just using a radar gun. One of the primary methods to assess this rate examines the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The universe's first light emitted about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This imprint is observable across the entire sky and has been mapped to derive the Hubble constant with less than 1% uncertainty. Between 2009 and 2013, the European Space Agency's Planck satellite produced a detailed map of the CMB. In this cosmic snapshot, the universe is nearly uniform, but slight variations in temperature, where matter is denser or sparser, Mark the locations where baryon acoustic oscillations left their imprint. This soap bubble structure expanded into the cosmic web, a network of strands linking galaxies at their intersections. By studying these ripples, cosmologists inferred the quantities of regular matter, dark matter, and the cosmological constant, or dark energy, and calculated the Hubble constant, which came out to roughly 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Let's take a moment to break down this number. If a galaxy is one megaparsec away, it will recede at a speed of 67 kilometers per second. At a distance of 20 megaparsecs, this recession grows to 1,340 kilometers per second, continuing to accelerate as distance increases. If a galaxy is farther than 4,175 megaparsecs away, it will recede faster than the speed of light. Another method to measure this expansion rate involves using Cepheid variables. Pulsating stars whose outer layers expand and contract as they absorb and release radiation, causing them to flicker in a predictable pattern. This behavior, discovered in 1912 by astronomer Henrietta Swan Leavitt, allows astronomers to determine the absolute brightness of these stars, which can then be used to estimate their distance. The Cepheid-based technique, known as the Cosmic Distance Ladder, was a groundbreaking discovery that allowed astronomers to measure vast distances. The first rung of the ladder is constructed by measuring nearby Cepheids and cross-checking their distances. Following this, the distances of more distant stars and supernovas are determined by observing how much their light has been stretched redshifted as the universe expands. By comparing this data, astronomers can calculate the Hubble constant in 2019, Reese and his team utilized this method by pointing the Hubble Space Telescope at the Milky Way's nearest neighbor, the Large Magellanic Cloud. Their results were explosive, indicating a much higher expansion rate of 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec when compared to the Planck measurements. However, Hubble's results were limited by its lack of precision in crowded regions of space, which caused distant Cepheus to blur with neighboring stars. Some descending cosmologists argued that this discrepancy might have been due to a measurement error. But when the James Webb Space Telescope launched in December 2021, it was expected to resolve or perhaps confirm this discrepancy. With its 6.5-meter-wide mirror, almost three times the size of Hubble's, and its superior infrared capabilities, James Webb was able to observe fainter objects and detect a wider range of wavelengths. In a study comparing Cepheids in the galaxy NGC 4258 to supernovae, Reese and his team found results nearly identical to their previous work, 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Other measurements, including those by Wendy Friedman with the Hubble Space Telescope and using gravitational lensing, returned similar results around 69.6 and 66.6 kilometers per second per megaparsec, respectively. The implications of these results have shaken the cosmological community. As cosmologist Romain Kai from the University of California, Merced, explains, even a 7 kilometers per second difference, though small, is extremely unlikely to be a random occurrence given the precision of the measurements. This has sparked a split in the cosmology community, with different factions proposing various explanations. Some suggest measurement errors others new physics, or a combination of both. Kai believes that much of the data points toward the need for new physics. The leading hypothesis is that dark energy's behavior has changed over time. If dark energy was once stronger and then gradually faded, it would make the universe appear smaller in its earlier stages, resulting in a faster expansion rate today. 
Other possibilities include the existence of two types of dark energy or dark matter interacting with light. But these theories introduce complications that many cosmologists are hesitant to embrace without further evidence. James Webb's discoveries are not just challenging our understanding of dark energy and dark matter. They are reshaping our ideas about galaxy formation. By looking further back in time than ever before, the telescope has revealed galaxies that were much more massive and advanced than the standard model had predicted. Forming just 300 million years after the Big Bang, early galaxies, which should have been composed of young, hot stars, were found to have heavy elements and even supermassive black holes at their cores. Features that challenge the traditional model of galaxy evolution. These findings have intensified the debate within cosmology, suggesting that the processes governing galaxy formation may have been more rapid and efficient than previously thought. In addition to addressing these profound mysteries, James Webb's findings have also deepened the puzzle surrounding dark matter and dark energy. Despite being the dominant components of the universe, both remain poorly understood. While dark matter interacts gravitationally, its precise nature is still unknown, prompting ongoing research into its detection. Similarly, dark energy is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, but discrepancies such as the Hubble tension raise the possibility that dark energy's properties are not uniform across space-time. Alternative theories propose dynamic forms of dark energy that could evolve over time, influencing the expansion rate differently at various stages of the universe's history. To solve these mysteries, astronomers will need both advanced observational tools like the James Webb Space Telescope and theoretical frameworks that can incorporate the new data without discarding the successes of current models. The implications of Webb's discoveries extend far beyond cosmology, influencing broader astrophysical questions, including the origins of life and the conditions necessary for life to arise on other planets. By studying distant galaxies, astronomers hope to uncover clues about how Earth-like planets may form around other stars, offering potential insights into the prevalence and diversity of life in the universe. Looking ahead, the James Webb Space Telescope promises to continue pushing the boundaries of our cosmic understanding. Its unprecedented sensitivity and resolution will allow astronomers to study the atmospheres of exoplanets, map galaxies in greater detail, and examine the earliest epochs of cosmic history with unparalleled precision. These efforts will not only deepen our understanding of the universe's past, but also pave the way for groundbreaking discoveries that could revolutionize our comprehension of physics, astronomy, and our place in the cosmos. As Webb embarks on its operational phase, astronomers eagerly anticipate the new insights that will emerge. Whether unraveling the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, understanding galaxy formation, or searching for life beyond Earth, the telescope stands at the forefront, poised to transform our view of the universe in ways once thought impossible. In conclusion, the intersection of cutting-edge technology, theoretical innovation, and precise observation heralds an exciting new era for cosmology and astrophysics. James Webb's contributions are set to play a crucial role in refining our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution, presenting new challenges to established theories while simultaneously opening doors to transformative discoveries. As we venture deeper into this exploration, the mysteries of the universe await, with the James Webb Space Telescope leading the way in uncovering the secrets of our cosmic heritage and future. The impact of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, goes beyond just measuring the expansion of the universe or uncovering the details of early galaxies. It is also poised to address some of the most profound questions of cosmology. The idea that our current understanding of the universe might be fundamentally flawed is not a new one, but the precision of JWST's observations has brought this possibility into sharp focus. This includes understanding the behavior of dark matter and dark energy, which are central to the universe's large-scale structure but still remain elusive. One of the most exciting aspects of JWST's potential lies in its ability to study the early universe in ways that previous telescopes, such as Hubble, could not. 
with its ability to capture light from galaxies formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. JWST is providing insight into the first stages of galaxy formation. The existence of massive, mature galaxies at such an early stage of the universe challenges the conventional theory that galaxies should have taken longer to form. This raises a possibility that some processes, such as star formation or black hole growth, could have been much more efficient in the early universe than we thought. What's more, these unexpected findings have implications not just for galaxy formation, but for understanding the role of dark matter in shaping the universe's structure. Dark matter is believed to have played a crucial role in the formation of galaxies by exerting gravitational forces, yet its exact nature remains a mystery. JWST's observations could help illuminate how dark matter influenced galaxy evolution, potentially revealing new properties of this elusive substance. In addition to dark matter, JWST is also aiding in the study of exoplanets and the conditions necessary for life beyond Earth. One of the telescope's primary missions is to analyze the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, searching for signs that could indicate habitability or even life. By studying the chemical makeup of exoplanetary atmospheres, scientists hope to uncover the conditions under which life could arise elsewhere in the universe. These findings could offer profound insights into whether Earth-like conditions are rare or common in the cosmos. As we delve deeper into the data from JWST, it is becoming increasingly clear that we are on the cusp of discovering new physics. Whether it's the mystery of dark energies evolving nature, the unexpected complexity of early galaxies, or the elusive behavior of dark matter. JWST is opening up new avenues for understanding the universe. It is not just refining our current theories, but also challenging them, forcing scientists to think in new ways and consider the possibility that some of our most fundamental assumptions might need to be revised. Moreover, these discoveries are not only advancing our knowledge of cosmology, but also pushing the boundaries of particle physics, astronomy, and even philosophy. As we continue to explore the universe through the lens of JWST, we are not just learning about the stars and galaxies. We are gaining a deeper understanding of the very laws of physics that govern our reality. The questions raised by JWST's findings could lead to a paradigm shift in our understanding of the universe's origin its structure, and its ultimate fate.